Hi, welcome back to Mrs O'Gram's Maths. This video is going to talk about Venn diagrams, which is a nice way to be able to show probabilities or numbers in groups and where they overlap and where they don't and read off um, answers to questions from them. Okay, so we're going to go straight into an example. It's the easiest way to show you these. So in year 13, we've got 184 students that take stats, 146 take calculus and 33 do both of those. So we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to set that up as a Venn diagram. So let's have a look at stats. I'm going to do that in blue. So we have a circle to represent the stats students. And then for calculus, it's going to be a yellow circle. And we are going to have some overlap there of the students that do both things. So that 33 goes in the middle where they are taking both statistics and calculus. Now we have 184 students that are taking statistics. Now that includes students that are taking calculus as well. So the total for statistics is 184. If we take off that 33, then we'll get 151. So that all of the statistics students added up together makes the 184 students that take stats. We'll do the same for calculus. There's um, 146 of those. So if we take off the 33, we'll get, um, oh, sorry, just hold on a sec. There we go, just fixed that up. Um, we'll have 113 left over that only do calculus um, and the 33 added to them will make our total that we needed of 146 that do calculus altogether. Now once we've set up the diagram from the information, you might be asked some probability questions around it. So for example, how many um, students take stats or calculus? So this will be anybody that's in any portion of that Venn diagram. So we add those all up and the notation for that is S union C. So that's kind of like a U but without a tail. Um, it's just a nice symmetrical curve um, that you draw like a U. Yeah, so it, it means union. It's anywhere where um, somebody is in S or C or both of them. So all of those numbers added together and that comes to 297. What about if we asked, what's the probability of selecting a student who only takes stats? So we want the probability of um, picking somebody out of this group of 297 students that is in that um, blue section and not in the yellow. So that dash on the C means not in there. So um, we want the probability of S intersection with C dash. That, um, N is what means intersection, it's where the two things are true at the same time. So you do that like an N but without the tail, like we just saw on the, bef the slide before with the U, except it's the other way around. So that symbol means the intersection. Those things have to both be true at the same time. It's not one or the other, like we saw with union, they have to both be satisfied simultaneously. So the, the students that only take stats and don't take calculus, that's obviously 151. And we're doing this one as a probability, so we want that as a fraction out of our total. Okay, we can add some more information to this diagram if we're told about the total that these students were selected from. So there are 431 year 13 students in total. And we can add this as a rectangle. Now, a rectangle um, identifies the complete set that these were drawn from. So all year 13 that these students could be selected from, and they have a total of 431. From that, we can work out how many students don't take either stats or calculus, and we put them outside of that of, of those two circles. So if we do 431 take away the 297 students that take stats or calculus, we'll get 134. Okay, we're going to have a look at another example. In another student, there are 400 year 13 students. This time, we're going to be given probabilities rather than actual numbers of students. Um, and it's very feasible. You could be asked questions like this where you're, um, you've got probabilities instead of numbers. So the probability of selecting um, a student that does both statistics, oh sorry, only statistics, is 0.4. The probability of selecting a student that does only calculus is 0.25. The probability of selecting a year 13 student that does neither statistics nor calculus is 0.18. 
from that information we can work out that overlapping bit in the middle. So the probability of selecting a student that does both statistics and calculus, well all of the probabilities that are possible need to add up to 1. So if we do 1 minus the probabilities we've got already, we'll get 0 0.17. From those probabilities, we can work out actual numbers. So um, in year 13, we were told there were 400 students in this um, particular school. So if we do 0 0.4 times 400 and 0 0.17 times 400, each of those probabilities times 400 will get the number of students. So the number of students that do statistics and calculus is 68, just calculus is 100, um, just statistics is 160, and neither statistics nor calculus is 72. And then, of course, you might get asked further questions about picking out different bits of information from that diagram. Um, you should be able to do most of the straightforward Venn diagrams from that. Uh, just be aware that on some of the harder questions, you might get three groups um, of people or items to talk about. So you can actually have three intersecting circles for a Venn diagram as well. You just got to be very careful picking out the information and placing it into the right section on your Venn diagram. Okay, so um, I hope that was useful to you. Uh, do me a favour and click on that subscribe button. Thanks.